Welcome to our Wellness Wednesdays video series. My name is Christina and I am a doctoral extern here at the Towson University Counseling Center. Today we are going to be talking about how you can stay connected to your mental health. Staying in touch with our mental health is such an important factor for feeling our best and knowing when we might need a little extra support. First, let's discuss what is meant when we refer to our mental health. Although it can carry many different definitions, mentalhealth.gov defines mental health as our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. So why is it important to be connected to our mental health? Well, first it's important because life can become overwhelming at times. It's important for us to know ourselves and know our warning signs of when we might need some more support. When we are connected to our mental health, the better we can cope with struggles, the more we can help and be there for others, and the more we can feel our lives are meaningful. Let's discuss a few signs that might indicate that you may need some extra support for your mental health. Things like changes in eating or sleeping habits, disengaging from usual activities and people close to you, having changes in your energy levels, feeling hopeless or helpless, smoking, drinking, or using other substances more often, or feeling more agitated and irritable than usual. Here are some ways to stay connected to your mental health. You can do so by taking time to de-stress. Often when we're stressed, we can lose touch with our thoughts and emotions as they just feel overwhelming. Journaling, it's a great way for you to reflect on your feelings from the day, your wants, needs, aspirations, etc. Having a time to reflect on these topics can help you stay connected to or get back in touch with what it is that you're wanting and needing out of life. You could do things like meditate, engage in yoga or mindfulness, or really any space for yourself. Activities like these give us the opportunity to slow down our minds, connect with our thoughts, our emotions, and our body in the present moment. Practices like these can really help ground us. You can also surround yourself with others who are supportive. Close friends, partners, and loved ones can often help us notice when we might not be our usual selves. And also counseling. Individual therapy or group therapy can be a great way for us to get in touch with our thoughts and feelings with the help and support of a counselor. Therapy can help us to explore different topics like de-stressing, getting in touch with hopes, dreams, goals, and any really barriers to them. Here are five helpful tips to boost your mental health. First is exercise. The chemicals that are released when we exercise can help boost self-esteem and decrease feelings of anxiety and depression. It can also help you feel better overall. Next, reducing substance use. So drinking alcohol and using different substances can temporarily change your mood, often for the better. However, by consistently altering your brain's chemicals, it can make it hard for your mood to feel balanced overall. Doing something that you're good at. By engaging in activities that we're good at can help us mitigate stress. It also helps boost self-esteem. What do you love doing? What activities do you feel like you get lost in? And lastly, ask for help. We're all humans and humans get tired and overwhelmed by how we feel or how things are going sometimes. Don't hesitate to reach out to friends, loved ones, or a counselor to help support you during these times. Hopefully these tips help boost your mental health and have you feel better. Thank you for watching and tune in weekly for more Wellness Wednesday.